Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video on its real deal, 66 Mustang GT convertible, authenticated, and it's the real thing, which is really nice. Beautiful restoration, and I purchased it from the restorer themselves. So they're professional in what they do. They restored it, and uh, we're helping them find the new home for it. And I believe that could, person could be you. Hopefully it is. When you see the detail on this car, the underneath of this car is spectacular. You need to see underneath of it. It drives absolutely like a brand new car. It is really one of the nicest Mustangs we have ever had. I'm sorry to ramble on so much about it, but they did a really nice job. And if they're watching the video who restored it, kudos to them for the quality and excellent work. All right, so the one thing we like to do is the paint test. Make sure that you can read this nice and clear. See that in there, don't look at this. In the paint, can you see everything in there? And you really can, you can read the whole sticker and that's really what you should be looking for when you're getting a car like this. Uh, make sure somebody shows you the video, shows you the quality of the paint, shows you the detail. New chrome, new stainless, new trim rings around uh, the headlights, the marker lights work. You say, well Tom, what's the big deal about the marker lights working? Well, the big deal is nine times out of 10, they don't work when they get here. These are working. Got the GT fog lights in here, all right? Again, we have an authenticated car, so we need to make sure we have all the right things that make us have a real GT versus uh, a wannabe GT, okay? Let's look inside here for a minute. We got the road wheels, all right? We have disc brakes inside here. Important thing, you can always add disc brakes. These are the real deal factory uh, two piston caliper disc brakes, all right? We have Goodrich radial TAs. Now, here's where it gets uh, complicated. Not really complicated, it doesn't really matter, this is just whatever, okay? But these tires right here, the BF Goodrich Radial TAs, they drive really nice and they make the car drive wonderfully. But they are not period correct and they're not authentic like you would if you were going to show this car nationally. So if you want to, we can put uh, the double red lines on there, we can put white walls on there, we can do whatever you want as far as a, a bias ply tire or a red line radial tire if you wanted. Um, which would look really cool with the red paint, but uh, that's up to you. But right now it has the radial TAs, which make the car look really nice. And if you just wanted a cool car that you could take it to a show, then you could leave this just the way it is. It's perfect and it really drives great. If you're gonna take this to the next level and you wanna go nationally and put it in a trailer, take it to other places, you gotta put bias fly tires on it and that does kill the drive a little bit. So I just throw that out there. Not meant to complicate anything, but uh, this is why the car looks so great is because it has nice big fat tires on it, all right? All right, let's keep rolling around. All right, so fit and finish. GT call out like it's supposed to, the Mustang down here, all right? No chrome gills here, the GTs did not have that, so that's how you know uh, usually right away whether it is or it isn't, okay? We'll come on back here and we'll look at some of the things like uh, the balance panel with the real GT style exhaust pipes with the trim around them, all right? And I say that to you because lots of cars have the GT exhaust down here, but to do all this, you have to buy the balance panel, you have to, uh, the trim rings, the correct tips, exhaust has to be routed right you know that in itself if it doesn't have it on the car can be a uh, thousand or twelve hundred dollar just that alone so you can see where the money starts to pile up in these cars and the detail of everything so when you talk about your bumpers and trim and GT gas cap call out and the, the fact that the tag light works you know all the little stuff that probably didn't work you know three or four years after the car was new so. anyway I'll tell you what we'll do now is we're gonna go look under the hood because if you want to go to a car show or you want to show your friends in your garage or you just want to stare at it yourself, this looks so good underneath, you're going to love it. So let's check it out. Hey, I also want to give a shout out to a man, Devin, over here who helps us get all these ready. He's the guy that makes all this stuff happen. He makes it all shiny. Look at my man roll around the car. And he's getting it so that uh, right now, not only will it look good here, but you can show your friends the new car that you just bought and uh, that it's on the way to you. All right? All right. Okay, so like if you want to uh, judge a car, this is kind of the way you do it. So come on up in here and I want you to show you some details. For instance, like tower clamps, okay? You say, well, what's the big deal about tower clamps, Tone? Their clamps are clamps, you're right. But these are 10 times the price of a regular worm clamp and they look like it, they look so authentic. Engines painted uh, the right color. You know, 65 would have been a black engine, 66 would have been the blue engine, all right? Power steering, we forgot to ask if this car had power steering. You forget to ask, you're gonna be very disappointed if you go to go turn the wheel and it steers nothing like the current car that you have. This has a nice uh, battery topper on it right here, okay? The decals are in the right place, the washer bag, the radiator's been painted correctly, uh, Ford hoses in here, Fomoco, and even with the uh, um, code for what they would have fit at the time, the right chrome valve covers, it's got manifolds on it, not headers. I mean, all the little detail stuff is done in here. 
That's why I love these cars like this. When they look like this and you open the hood, you go, wow, man, that looks really nice under there. The reason it looks so nice under there is all the stuff I just told you about, and it takes a long time to get to this place, all right? Dual horns, they work. What's the big deal about the horns working? Well, nine times out of 10, the horns don't work on these cars, and we have to fix those. Those are all the things that you're going to experience uh, when you buy a car. But if you buy a car like this, it's kind of turnkey, ready to go, and uh, ready to enjoy that very next day. All right, so the detail uh, keeps going. So for instance, just hear me out for a second again. It's got a trunk mat and a spare tire cover and a spare. You say, well, wow, BFD, that doesn't cost much. You're right, that doesn't cost a whole lot. But nine times out of 10, we don't have a spare in the car, okay? This one does. By the time you piece together a spare, the jack, um, which is right here inside its pouch as well, the hold down, the two mats, the right decals in here, all the detail stuff in here that you're supposed to get done, you're at a thousand bucks, guaranteed. By the time you detail all that, and that's why when you get a car like this and you can turn key it and get in it and drive it this weekend, it's way better to do it this way. Okay, so little stuff like, for instance, the door lights down here, they work so they illuminate when you walk up. You say, well, what's the big deal about that right there? Well, the big deal about that is it's not supposed to not work. It's supposed to work. Footwell lighting is supposed to work. And for instance, we had to source this uh, because we needed to get a new one. And this goes here. I just want to put it in here so you guys can see it, all right? Uh, because there's a black belt on the side. You might not even notice it, but uh, I just like to call that out, so. All right, so again, more stuff. The footwell lighting is working in here, okay? The dash is restored the way it's supposed to be. This has the upgraded pony interior. So it has uh, the horses here across and in back. Like, look how much room is back here. You can take the kids out, you can take another couple out. This car was designed to do one thing, have some fun. That's all it's designed to do is have some fun. If you want to take it to a show and get trophies and stuff like that, that's all great. You want to like pick it apart and learn the numbers and do all those things, that's a lot of fun too. But at the end of the day, this car is designed to get in, go for a drive and do this. Smile. The dash is all done in here at night. It's original AM radio in here, all right? The correct pony floor mats are in here, new carpet, kick panels, door panels, dash pad, mirror, visors. All this stuff adds up to be so much money, and that's why it's so very nice. This has a power top. You can hear that there. Um, and the dash is all restored as well, which we keep talking about. The reason I guess I keep talking about it is because I know what it takes to restore a dash and make all of these lights and all of this stuff work. This has a console in it. You know, that can be a thousand bucks by the time you're done piecing it all together. And then you got this right here. You can get this car in a four-speed or automatic and finding, run down this list real quick, Mustang, GT, four-speed, bucket seats, okay, convertible. That's a lot. Stock wheel, which is beautifully restored as well, and it's just very, very nice. So, all right, how about I start it for you so you can hear what it sounds like. All right, so as we close up the video, we'll run down some of the stuff here. Um, this is an original T-coated car as well, which I didn't mention earlier, and that is candy apple red. So this car came from the factory just the way it is. So it was restored authentically and designed to be investment grade, and that's why it's continued to appreciate over time. The correct 289 is in it. The road wheels are correct. The disc brakes, I said they were two-piston. They're Kelsey Hayes four-piston brakes, my fault. They're uh, a power convertible top. It's got a new boot. It's got uh, the correct exhaust. I was running down all this thing. Power steering. You know what? Forget all that stuff. It doesn't even matter if any of that was real or not real. But the fact of the matter is, this car is great looking. This car is a lot of fun. And you're going to have an awesome, awesome time. The fact of the matter is that it's investment grade only makes it even better. All right? Anyway, call us. 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this real deal 66 Mustang GT convertible. Thank you.